We know it's quite controversial to say that boondocking in a big rig's better, but... We're Kristen, Jameson, and Maddie. We've been living in our motorhome while both working full-time for over two years. This season is all about building community on the road and sharing more behind the scenes of our RV life along the way. After three months of being forced to stay in campgrounds and find parking lots to sleep in and mooch talking off of our family mm -hmm. on the East Coast, we are so excited to be back out West and back to boondocking and living off grid. When we first bought the rig, we didn't know that boondocking was gonna be on the table or anything we'd be interested in. It was not taken into consideration when we were looking for RVs. But turns out that this 41 foot behemoth actually does really well boondocking. And there's several reasons why. So today we wanted to share with you why we think boondocking is better in a big rig. We have a 100 gallon freshwater tank. And for us, that is enough for normal showers and doing dishes and cooking our own meals in the house for about 10 or 11 days on average. Yeah, it works out great for us. What's left in our tank looks like it's not very much, but that's actually more than four days, possibly five days of water for us. So another advantage to this big rig boondocking is it's 75 gallon black tank. I mean, we can push that pretty far. Um, we were at her parents' house in the driveway for five weeks and we did not fill the black tank. We used the house a little bit, yeah. but we didn't fill it in five weeks. It was pretty amazing. That's the longest we've ever gone. We'll never go that long again, no. but big yeah. tanks. On average, I would say our black tank lasts us three weeks very yep. comfortably, like not conserving in any way. Yeah, sometimes when we move from one spot for two weeks to another spot, we don't always have a dump spot in between. So we've been able to stretch it for about three weeks while normal moving boondocking. We also have a 75 gallon gray tank, which again means that we can take normal showers and do dishes and cook and clean without too much, you know, conserving but we do use buckets in our kitchen sink and in our bathroom sink. So if it's just mostly clean water with a little bit of dish soap or something. Where we're allowed. Where we're allowed, we will dump that just to stretch it a bit longer. And we usually run out of fresh water before we run out of gray tank space. Yep. So our gray tank probably lasts us at least two weeks. Um, but again, we usually have to go get fresh water first anyway. Yep. This thing has a lot of square footage on the roof. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> We've got 1500 watts of solar just taking up one side of our bus. So we can easily expand that to double that and then even put some panels down the center in between the air conditioner units if we wanted to. But right now 1500 watts seems to be working great for us. With our solar setup, when we had it professionally installed, basically we're over solared for the amount of inverter and battery and solar charge controller we that currently we have. set up. Yeah, we're upgrading that. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see that we're only using half of the roof. So we have so much room to expand to. Big rigs also come with plenty of space for a battery bank. You could probably carry as many as you wanted. We have had four Battleborn batteries, 100 amp hours each in an outside bay that was originally designed for batteries. But we have so much space inside the bus under our bed that we're considering moving the whole battery setup inside so that we can expand to six batteries, which, you know, is the other half of the solar equation. You have to be able to store the energy. So yeah, big rigs are awesome for lots of batteries. We have options. We have a 43.3 gallon propane tank and our fridge and our furnaces and stovetop all run off of propane. So with that 43 gallons, we can stay out longer than the two week period that we can 
in one particular spot. We also carry a four and a half gallon grill tank that makes it really easy to run to town if if it's cold usually. We burn through more propane in the winter when we have to run the furnace, but. Yeah, we're kind of wusses. We like running our furnace. We're not afraid to, but yeah. um, we have the extended stay on the bus so we can easily connect the barbecue cylinder to the bus. Yeah. And that way it's easier when we're staying out somewhere. Uh, being 41 feet, sometimes it's difficult to find a propane fill that is easy for us to pull in. A lot of people will fill it, but it's like, get it in the parking lot. So. Yeah, totally. And the, the grill tank, we've kind of figured out if it's really cold, will only last us three or four days. Mm -hmm. So having a tank on board that's 10 times bigger allows us to stay out much longer without having to go searching for propane. Yep. We currently still have a propane or electric fridge that is original to the bus, uh, which is plenty big enough for us. But when we start to upgrade our solar setup, we'll probably switch that out for a residential fridge. And big rigs allow you the possibility of having residential size fridge space. Even for us right now with our original fridge, we have tons of fridge space and more importantly, like a proper freezer where you can actually keep things frozen. Um, so we love being able to pack up food for a couple of weeks and go out somewhere really remote and not need to go fishing for a grocery store. Um, so yeah, we have the most fridge space I think we could need. Yep. One of the best sidekicks to the big rig is the Jeep. We think the Jeep is one of the best toads that you can have and comparing a motorhome to a trailer, we think it's more nimble than the tow truck would be. So if we had a 2500 or a 3500 truck, yeah. we wouldn't be taking it off-roading off <laughs> as much as we do with the Jeep. We're not Jesse and Melissa. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a travel trailer with a 2500 HD and it wasn't the most fun to have as a daily driver. So the Jeep's a pretty fun car and it's, it's a perfect companion to the big rig. Yep. This thing has a lot of storage. It does. I mean, we have a couple of pass-through bays and then all the surrounding bays. Underneath the bed, there's a little bit of storage. We have full back closet. And then there, above the washer dryer combo is another huge closet of storage. So we're able to bring pretty much anything we want. Um, we have four bikes on board. Um, we don't really need four bikes, but <laughs> we each want a road bike and a fun bike. Yep. So with this space, we get to carry a lot. Yeah, we, we have things that we wouldn't want to have to give up for boondocking life. We love grilling out. We love having our fire pit and we know friends with smaller rigs that have to sort of choose between a grill or a fire pit and can't certainly have four bikes on board. So once you're out there boondocking in nature, it's like you want to have the toys to enjoy it. Yeah, And we have friends that have the same size buses that have three barbecues yes, on true. board. So. <laughs> And the last reason that boondocking is better in a big rig is kind of silly, but important to us. It's just better for entertaining. No matter what the weather is, we have space to have friends over inside the bus or out on our patio. And we carry on board some silly things that we really don't need, but we have a pizza oven and we love to have pizza parties with our friends. We have a disco ball, we have party lights and we love to be able to be silly sometimes. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know that I could give those things up, yeah. but I, we don't have to. Nope. <laughs> the, the glamping luxury of a big rig. Yeah, and if, if some of those friends need to stay over for a short period of time, we have the space to not feel like we're on top of each other. Yeah, actually we didn't include that, did we? But we have plenty of space to have friends camp with us mm -hmm. and that's pretty nice. We know it's controversial to say boondocking's better in a big rig, but... For us, the very few spots we haven't been able to fit in, it's, it's no big deal, you know? Like, it's worth all the extra glampy, luxurious benefits to have as much space and as much 
tank space and solar space and just the ability to stay out longer and live a more regular, comfortable life. You know, boondocking for us wouldn't be sustainable for years and years if we were very limited and couldn't live normally. So we're saying it. Boondocking's better in a big rig. Yep.